Hi everyone, Amanda from the Raw Food Kitchen here and today I want to talk to you about Irish Moss. Now you may have heard about this product and we do use it in the raw food diet because it is a raw product. It's a sea vegetable. It's really high in minerals, essential fatty acids. It's very alkalizing, very detoxifying, reduces inflammation. I've heard that it can actually help heal stomach ulcers and we use it like gelatin. So this is a vegan's version of gelatin. And a little, go, a little bit goes a long way. So today I really wanted to just showcase to you, like um, we'll talk to you about how you can utilize this product and to what sort of recipes, how much to use and how to process it. Because when you buy it, it'll look like this, which is in its dried form. And it looks a lot like this. You can see here, it's actually quite dried and um, you know there's it's not a lot to it so what we've got to do is it's also quite silty right so we need to soak and drain the, the silt from from the moss so what we're going to do is we give it a good rinse under the sink a good handful is really all you need maybe a handful to half a cup and then you're going to fill a bowl with filtered water i don't know if you, the cameraman can show this to everyone but you can see how much this has increased in size so this is swollen up and it will increase inside quite a lot. And then also you can sort of see it's starting to become softer, it's becoming more gelatinous. So this has been soaking in filtered water now for about uh, two hours. You can soak maybe for another um, four to six. It will start to, it will just continue to get bigger. So it really is great for giving you a lot of volume for not a lot of product. And you know, once I've soaked it for the desired amount of time, I will also drain it as well and give it another little rinse because you'll find that it still can have a lot of silt in there as well. So, uh, so I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to drain that into a bowl. I've got a simmer here so you can actually catch the, uh, the moss. So if I had it left this soaking for another couple of hours, I would obviously get more out of this, but I wanted to shoot this video for you um, because we're losing the light today. So I'm just going to pop that into the blender. So that's really probably made almost two cups of, um, of Irish moss sea vegetable. Now we want to turn this into a paste. This is going to be like our end product that we use. The paste is what we use to um, throw into our recipes to thicken up lots of different dishes. So things like smoothies, um, soups, uh, sauces if they're too runny. You can make a really beautiful thick chia pudding. Um, great for um, desserts, like great for adding like a spongy texture to cakes and raw food cakes and desserts. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this mix now. We just just enough to cover. The more water you use, obviously, the, the more it's going to become quite runny. So I'm probably going to add three quarters fill that, and then just going to turn the blender on to see how we go.
can see that it's a really beautiful um, glossy kind of paste. Now that's the, the result that you're looking for with this. And you can see how it's still quite runny right now, but once this is in the fridge and sets up overnight, um, it'll become quite thick and it'll become a beautiful way to uh, thicken up all of your recipes. Uh, have you know have the, have a, a you know a clear conscience that you are you're not you know no animals were harmed in the making of your recipes because you won't be using gelatin, and uh, you know it's obviously vegan friendly, gluten free. Uh, dairy free uh, raw product so there's tons of benefits from having this paste in your fridge now this will keep in the fridge for a good three weeks so I always just have this in my fridge it's a staple in my fridge to you know it's always a great little um, rescue remedy if you've like made a sauce and it's too runny or you just you know maybe you don't have an avocado for a smoothie um, I always add this into my smoothies anyway because it just tends to give it a really beautiful consistency. So a couple of tablespoons in a smoothie, maybe a one litre smoothie is really all you need. And maybe if you're making a cake uh, or, or some sort of dessert, you know, uh, a quarter of a cup to half a cup depending on the recipe. If you want that nice sponginess or a nice mousse-like texture to your fillings, this is a great one to use. You know, And again, if you make a runny sauce or a salad dressing and you want to thicken it up a little bit, Add some more of this in, a couple of tablespoons should, be, should do the trick. So if you want to grab hold of some Irish moss, some guilt-free gelatin, uh, head to the rawfoodkitchen.com to my store online and you can grab these babies. They're there and this is a 200 gram pack so it's going to last you for ages because a little bit as you can see goes a long way. And as I said, if I had have soaked this, for a little bit longer, I could have made a full litre there. So a brilliant way to uh, thicken your recipes and uh, keep it, keeping it real and keeping it raw. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Lots of raw love, bye.